is Mac Holiday from Holiday What TV. How's everyone doing? I'm on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that. Who here was at the launch party earlier tonight for Redfin at Downtown Cocktail Room? All right, that's good, that's good. Now, I have a confession to make. Uh, in the almost six months I've been doing this, I've never one time had a cocktail before the show. And that was on purpose, because I don't know if it's gonna affect me at all, but I had two before the show. I did. It was a delightful cocktail, all made of spirits. We got orange bitters, we got gin and yellow chartreuse. I enjoy the chartreuse, yes? So I don't know if it's gonna make me better or worse or more crazy or less crazy, but forgive it me if I don't know what's going to happen. So today, May 29th, is a really exciting holiday. It's put a blank on your refrigerator. Hmm, what is the blank? Anybody know? Kittens, no. This is incorrect. I'm going to give you a multiple choice. And when I say that, Dylan, that means you mustn't jump in before I finish the multiple choice. I must finish the multiple choice. A, a pillow. B, a chicken, dead, raw, uncooked. <laughs> Shoes or a teapot. What goes on the fridge that is supposed to bring good luck and wealth? Anyone? Dead chicken. chicken. Dead chicken? Chicken pot. Got you this time, it is a pillow! It is a pillow! This has been around since before the 1920s, both in Europe and the USA, when they would put cloth in the larders. Now, I read a bunch of articles on this, and I felt like I was a schmuck because I never knew what a larder was. Do you guys know what a larder is? A cupboard. A, ca a what? A cupboard. A cupboard. So, the larder is basically what was in the house to keep the storage cold before the refrigerator. And they would build houses, you know, with the larders, like a pantry kind of, away from the sun, whatever, so that's what a larder is. And then after 1927, when the refrigerator was invented by General Motors, they went away, and then so did the tradition of putting the cloth in the larders, but the pillow on the refrigerator has come back. So Dylan, we must get a pillow on your refrigerator immediately, like yeah. now. Exactly. I wanna see it happen. I know there are pillows in, on the couches back there, because it's good luck and wealth, and it only happens today today only while Dylan working on that we're gonna get a camera on him I'd like to talk about June which is just a few days away June happens to be entrepreneurs do-it-yourself month marketing month who who here is an entrepreneur yeah a lot of you I, I suspected yes well this guy right here with dot Vegas a company that I'm just learning about that I'm becoming very obsessed with is all about the entrepreneurship and the marketing and then do it yourself this is Dusty Trevino That's I right. like saying it Trevino <laughs> yes 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 that yes. is correct yeah and what, what this means what in Italian uh, Trevino is three wines three wines, three wines. let's yeah. taste your, your Italian let's test no, that's your not Italian that. I think that's wine a, knowledge that's a, uh, can you name three <laughs> Italian grape varietals Red wine? Yeah. Is that one? No. Okay. I have no idea then. <laughs> Your last name means three wines and you can't, you can't name. Let me help you. San Giovese, okay. which is what's in the Chianti. Okay. We have a Nebbiolo, is Merlot which wine? is a what? Merlot. Merlot actually counts? Yes. Yet? Good job. No, that's better. That is bad. Good that's job. Right, yes, yes. And okay, so we're over that now. Okay, so you are the, uh, the CFO of yes. Dot Vegas. That's correct. Yes. Now, yes, sponsors tonight. Yes. Very good. Seven years bringing Dot Vegas to, nice to market here. Let's talk a little bit about the education because these guys are the sponsors for the next four months, once a month. Come on! Yes. Yeah! Wow! I did not mean to scream that much. I'm sorry. So um, let's 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 have a conversation here. Absolutely. So we got um, yes. So uh, do you guys know what a TLD is? TLD. Do you know what it is? Oh, you're all just so fancy, all you tech Vegas people. I know what it is, whatever. I didn't know what it was. All right, so can you give them a little bit of education on the TLD in general? Sure, and, and like they said, yeah, a TLD stands for top level domain. And, and a top level do domain is anything that comes right of the dot. So and everybody's familiar with .com, .net, and .org. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. a top level domain. Well, for the first time, the governing body of the internet, which is ICANN, has, is opening up the space. And so we applied for and were just awarded the top level domain dot Vegas. So now, just wow. like a dot com, there'll be a dot Vegas. And on how the many internet. cities are there in the US that have their own dot city? There are four cities. Four only. Do you realize yeah, how special this is? This is a very big deal. Yeah. The, what, what, are the, what are the other the the, cities? The other three besides us is dot NYC for New York City. Really? Mark. Really? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, I just, just want to make sure. I just okay, want to make good. sure. 
<laughs> dot, dot Miami and dot Boston. Okay, all right. Those are good cities, but yeah. it's not. But, not but it's Vegas. not Vegas. It's not Vegas. No, no. This we're, the, we're the best. Yeah, no, we are for sure the best. So now I hear that a lot of uh, major brands and companies like Google and Amazon, they're, they're, they're jumping on this because they see what's happening. They're like, oh my God, there's all these new TLDs and they're snatching them up. Like Google bought over 100 I heard recently. Like yeah. they have dot mom now and dot RSVP. Yep. So like what's, what's up with this new revolution in, in, the, in the dots? Well, like I said, I mean, we really are kind of what we consider like a fracturing of the internet right now. I mean, dot com has been the dominant. They're kind of what you consider the, the white pages of the internet. Everything mm -hmm. would go into that. Now they're trying to fracture and actually create categories and, and uh, brands within the, within the top double domain space. And that's where you're seeing this come out of now. Now I hear that people involved in the tech industry are very excited about a lot of the heat and the energy you guys are like creating. I heard like 900,000 possible registrations for dot vegas like what is this we, we hope i mean that'd be excellent yeah i mean we are getting quite a bit of excitement around the dot vegas top level domain we've got uh, quite a few founders program basically uh what we have are founders coming in and and asking for specific names that we're working on with and yeah a registrar which is like a GoDaddy mm -hmm. or an enom or a one and one where you typically buy a domain name from um one of the largest registrars yeah anticipates us having potentially 100 or 900,000 wow. names in our database which if that's the case would be excellent for us and that would be you amazing. know it'll take us a while to get there but it, it's a possibility mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there's a lot of excitement so now something is happening on monday yeah what is it yeah so monday is actually our official launch date official launch date on yes. monday <laughs> yes so yeah uh, now, now it is somewhat of a restricted period. It's it's a 60-day period. What's called a sunrise period. So it's only for trademark holders. Uh, again, large corporations that want to come in and protect their brand within the .dot Vegas uh, domain name space, they can come in for 60 days. After that, then though, we will be open to the general public, what which, is, which is going to be August 15th. August 15th. Yeah. Everybody can have a .dot Vegas. That, that Who's going to get one? Hopefully, everybody. I mean, come on. Yeah. A couple yeah. more hands. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have like months to go, yes. so there's a lot more to talk about, which I'm very, very excited. Um, so you have, you brought shirts for everybody? I did, yes. There's, who's who's going to get a Dot Vegas shirt? They're, they're there's, here. There are free shirts in the back, free so help yourself. Free shirts in the back. How nice is that? That is so sweet. All right. So um, we're going to see you next month, yes. which I'm very excited about. And uh, by the way, did a pillow, I don't see a pillow on the fridge. <laughs> there isn't a pillow on the fridge yet. Where's Dylan? He disappeared? There is one on the fridge? Oh, it's, it, oh, it's so oh, nice. I like that. Good. That's going to bring you good luck and wealth. I like it. And then lastly, if you're following me on the Twitter or I've been talking about um, tonight for my happy video, which premieres here at Downtown Podcast next Thursday night, uh, we're going to go on the Ferris wheel. So it's very, very exciting. Yes, yes, yes. So if you want, if you're down to come to the Ferris wheel tonight, please talk to me. If it doesn't work out, then we might actually just shoot at the roof here at the Ogden and have you just dancing and being happy. That's all I got. Thank you so much. Dusty, happy Thank you. holidays.